There are telescopes searching the skies for signals, for hints, for a sign of civilizations, or even the signals from starships moving through the sky, you know, whatever it is. For the longest time, man has peered into the stars, wondering if there were others like us in this universe. Finally, the search is over after a breakthrough occurred in this adventure. NASA, the world's leading space and aeronautical agency, has recently shared that a massive object in space has started sending radio messages to Earth. This possibility forces us to consider that maybe we aren't alone after all, which is a terrifying but exciting realization. What does this radio signal imply? What could be the source? Join us in this video as we explore how NASA warns that an object in space has started sending Earth radio messages. NASA space experts have worked day and night to study this space object and crack the radio message and decipher its meaning. The rest of the world waits with bated breath to see the message cracked. Many wonder if this is a message from an intelligent life form, which is probably millions of light years away from us. There is a possibility that it might not be an extraterrestrial civilization, but something completely different. The universe is an enigma, and celestial bodies can send out magnetic or radio waves. It is possible that the Earth only picked up some of these waves that do not really mean so much. However, the strength of these latest signals has NASA alert and it seems we are on to bigger discoveries as a result. The observable universe is estimated to be a mind-boggling 93 billion light-years in diameter. We should note that this size is merely a fraction of the universe as these are the parts of the universe we have seen. The universe is most likely bigger than this estimate. The rest of the universe, which we have not seen, remains shrouded in mystery. The possibility of finding extraterrestrial life has been one of the biggest motivations for the continuous exploration of space. The idea that we might not be alone in this universe is as intriguing as it is terrifying. For the longest time, we have believed that we are the only intelligent life form, and for good reason. If we indeed have neighbors, shouldn't we have been able to establish some form of communication with them? NASA and other space exploration agencies have developed sophisticated tools to help detect any signs of life outside Earth. These custom-made instruments include specialized telescopes and highly advanced alert systems, which can detect radio signals and many other anomalies from distant galaxies. These complex systems and tools have made it possible for us to learn much more than we could have ever imagined about our universe. Scientists, with the help of these tools, detected radio signals from a galaxy located about 9 billion light-years away from us. These radio signals were so strong that they could be picked up by NASA's alert systems, allowing scientists to calculate their origin. This was a groundbreaking discovery, as it was the first time a signal from such a distance was recorded. It was also the first confirmed detection of strong lensing of 21-centimeter emission from a massive object, NASA astronomers considered these findings significant as they believed it would help them better understand the properties of dark energy and matter. Dark energy and dark matter are two of the biggest enigmas in modern astrophysics. They are also the most abundant elements in the universe, consisting of about 80% of the observable universe. According to NASA, this radio signal was picked up from a distant galaxy by its radio telescope called the Giant Meter Wave Radio Telescope situated in India. This telescope is one of NASA's most sensitive telescopes and can detect weaker signals from distant galaxies. When the radio signal was detected, scientists lost their cool for a moment because the radio waves were not coming from the usual or known sources such as stars or even a black hole. This uncertainty led to speculations in the science community about the possibility that the radio signal may have extraterrestrial origins. However, further study of the radio signal revealed that a massive black hole at the center of this distant galaxy is the likely cause of the strong radio wave. The black hole is said to be so big that it caused intense radiation from its surroundings that were strong enough to be detected by the giant meter wave radio telescope. 
Even though the detection of the radio wave has not definitively confirmed the existence of extraterrestrial life, NASA acknowledged that it has added significantly to the growing body of evidence that points to the possibility that we may not be alone in the universe. Essentially, a team of NASA researchers have also found that this strange signal or radio emission appears to be coming from the direction of Proxima Centauri. Scientists warned that this signal should not be dismissed. They specified that this signal had a distinct techno-signature that couldn't possibly be from natural origins. Efforts are ongoing to determine if an extraterrestrial organization sent out this radio wave. The signal's techno-signature was so unlike anything they had ever seen before, and it suggests that whatever extraterrestrial civilization may have sent it out was incredibly advanced. NASA has been monitoring the star systems for signs of alien life for years, and all the effort put into the venture finally seems to be paying off with the ongoing research into these new, strange radio messages. Speculations surrounding this strange radio signal are already fraught with questions about the real purpose of the signal. Some factions in the science community think that if these messages are truly from an alien civilization from outer space, the message might be one of peace from some more advanced neighbors. Another faction believes it might be a warning. Maybe the civilization has gotten some information about an impending catastrophe heading toward Earth and has sent a message to warn us. Another school of thought speculates that the signal could contain a blueprint for some advanced technology our neighbors have decided to share with us, which could revolutionize the world. However, where the signal came from is of more interest. The Proxima Centauri system carries a lot of secrets in its bosom. These secrets are so vast and deep that scientists have only begun to scratch the surface. Proxima Centauri has a rocky planet in its Goldilocks zone. This planet is known as Proxima B, Proxima B has all it takes to support life. So the fact that this advanced radio signal is coming from such a close star system that has a habitable planet has further strengthened the belief that we might be on the verge of discovering extraterrestrial life. The last faction in the science community fears the radio messages might be a trap set by a hostile extraterrestrial civilization interested in invading the Earth. It's just like we've seen in almost every movie on aliens, except maybe E.T. Aliens always want to take over the Earth. This faction also believes that the radio message might contain a virus or some other harmful technology which would most likely be used against us. Scientist Andrew Siemian and his team from the University of California spent several months studying the signal. The scientists found that the waves had some distinct properties. These strange properties made the signal very different from anything they had ever seen before. They found that the radio messages had a very low signal-to-noise ratio, which made them harder to detect. The signal also had an extremely narrow radio spectrum band. Waves or signals with such narrow spectrum bands cannot be traced to transmission from human-made satellites and spacecraft. This very reason made the detection of these messages a truly intriguing phenomenon because, for all purposes and intent, no way would it have been detected by our satellites or any current human technology. To make things even more interesting, the signal passed many of the team's astronomical checks, making it even more confusing. In the words of Andrew Seaman, we are not aware of a way to naturally compress electromagnetic energy into a single bit and with a frequency exhibited by this radio signal. As the team of scientists, led by Andrew Seamane, continued their analysis of the mysterious radio signal, they discovered more fascinating details about the properties of the wave. Scientists have found that the signal was highly polarized. What this means is that the electric field of the radio message vibrated in a specific direction. This signal property is quite unusual for a naturally occurring radio wave. This singular property suggests that the radio signal must have been artificially created. In addition to this, the signal had a periodicity of 16.35 days. This shows that it repeats every 16.35 days. This specific periodicity added another layer of complexity to the signal. The periodicity made the team assume that the signal might be coming from an orbiting object with a highly eccentric orbit. As our team dug deeper into the data provided by this signal, they discovered that the intensity of the signal varied over time, 
dotted with higher intensity bursts occasionally. These bursts of high intensity were irregular and did not follow an easily discernible pattern. Again, this added to the mystery of the radio message. This irregularity in the pattern of the high intensity bursts from the signal led the researchers to reason that the signal could have some interference from artificial objects such as satellites or spacecraft. However, the narrow spectrum band and other unique signal properties made the possibility of being made from human technology highly unlikely. Seaman Andrew also hypothesized that the signal could be a result of an exotic quirk of plasma physics, because as of now, there is no known natural way to compress electromagnetic energy into such a narrow radio spectrum band. Andrew, however, cautioned that this was only a theory and that more research would be needed to determine the source of the incredibly concentrated radio wave more accurately. The project that detected the radio message breakthrough was a massive undertaking by Andrew Simain. Billionaire Yuri Milner backed this undertaking financially. The project aimed to scour the cosmos for evidence of technological civilizations by observing radio telescopes worldwide. This program was launched in 2015, and the announcement was made grandly, with lots of A-listers present, including an appearance from the late Stephen Hawking and other space and science heavyweights. From that point of launching, Andrew and his team have searched the skies almost non-stop for signs of extraterrestrial life. This makes this strange radio signal detection a big breakthrough and a potentially significant development in astrobiology. Jason Wright, an astronomer at the Pennsylvania State University, has been another highly vocal proponent of this discovery. His comment on the discovery of the radio signal has generated a large buzz of excitement amongst the scientific community. According to Wright, many people are yet to understand that the discovery of this highly complex radio signal was not an accident. In actuality, scientists and astronomers have dedicated valuable time to collecting data from Proxima Centauri, the red dwarf star that is closest to our system's sun for several years. The data collected from the dwarf star started in April 2019, when a team of scientists partnered with Breakthrough to listen in search of signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. The team used the Parkes Radio Telescope, situated in Australia, to observe Proxima Centauri for any signs of flares. The goal of this observation was to understand how the flares from the red dwarf, Proxima Centauri, would affect the planets in the system, particularly Proxima b. Proxima b was discovered in 2016 and is almost 1.2 times larger than our planet Earth and has an 11-day orbit around its major star, the Proxima Centauri. It was during this signal collection process that the researchers stumbled on this unique signal. This signal is like nothing they have ever seen. The fact that it was coming from somewhere other than Earth fueled the speculation that it had to be evidence of extraterrestrial life because of its advanced complexity. Despite the excitement that followed its discovery, scientists, however, remain cautious as to how best to approach the situation and decode the message. They know that there are many potential explanations for the signal and how it came to be. Apart from the breakthrough team, researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy and many other organizations have been involved in analyzing this signal. Let's just say a lack of experienced staff will not be a problem in the quest to decode the message. The biggest challenge in analyzing this signal is that it is very faint. It was detected by a single antenna at the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia. The fact that it was detected through a single antenna makes it difficult to pinpoint the exact location from where the signal was sent. To get a hang of where the signal may have originated from, scientists use interferometry. Interferometry is a special technique that combines data from multiple telescopes to create a more detailed image. Another interesting aspect of the Proxima Centauri system is that it has a second planet, Proxima C. Proxima C was discovered in 2019. This planet is many times larger than Proxima B, and it orbits Proxima Centauri at a distance farther than any planet in our solar system orbiting the Sun. Scientists are still studying the proximity to understand its circumstance. Scientists are also closely monitoring the planet to know if it can support any form of life. Knowing if, indeed, Proxima C can support life, 
would go a long way toward helping unravel the mystery surrounding this radio signal gotten from somewhere around that system. On a different note, the discovery of this signal, which might prove the presence of extraterrestrial life, has sparked renewed interest in the hearts of many concerning a matter that many have decided was impossible. Interstellar travel. While Earthlings may not yet possess technology that would permit us to travel between stars, the discovery of this potential extraterrestrial signal makes some researchers believe that it is wise to send a signal of our own back to the Proxima Centauri system. However, this approach has raised several ethical questions. Many researchers are hesitant to send any message to the stars until we have a better understanding of what the signal is. Their hesitation is well understood because we wouldn't want to give a potentially hostile alien race an open invitation to invade the Earth. Marvel and DC have shown that that does not usually end well. Superman and Thor do not exist, so that means we would be, to a large extent, left to our own fate. Sophia Shake, a brilliant scientist from Pennsylvania State University, has overseen the subsequent analysis of the signal for the Breakthrough Listen project for many years. She has spent hours scouring data from radio telescopes and sifting through the background noise for even the faintest hint of extraterrestrial intelligence. Before this historical radio message was stumbled upon, and after the signal survived the numerous testing process designed to sift out any trace of terrestrial interference, Sophia and her team had tagged the purified signal Breakthrough Listen Candidate 1, or BLC-1. They knew they would have to put the signal through further testing to glean as much information as they could, and to verify that the signal did indeed come from deep space, and not a product of some fluke amateur experiment from the Earth. To ensure this, Sophia and her team returned to the telescope and scanned the skies for a week. The team used a procedure called nodding, which involved pointing the telescope at a specific target and looking elsewhere in the sky for a similar amount of time. After weeks of undertaking this test, they were left with one conclusion. The breakthrough listen signal was most likely of extraterrestrial origins. As the team continued to study and analyze the BLC-1 signal, they discovered it was not a one-time event. It appeared to be a recurring pattern of radio waves which came from the direction of Proxima Centauri with a surprising regularity too. This discovery only added to the excitement around the BLC-1 signal wave. This meant that wherever the signal had come from was a stable source. This discovery made it all the more obvious that the signal was not just any random occurrence or noise or even a mere interference. Its lack of modulation or information-carrying tweaks only added to the mystery of the radio signal. It was also discovered that the signal was not just a simple burst of radio waves, but a rather complex pattern of frequencies that seemed to defy any natural explanation. The signal comes in bursts and is often dotted by long periods of silence, unlike the behavior shown by waves detected from natural sources, which display a more continuous signal. It was when all these observations were put together that scientists came up with the wild possibilities around extraterrestrial life. Scientists assumed that this signal was a sign of an alien civilization using some kind of advanced alien technology. This technology is currently beyond our human maneuvering as the signal is yet to be deciphered. Yuri Milner, the tech billionaire who is funding Project Breakthrough, was intrigued by the possibilities which the BLC-1 presented. Yuri was convinced that this was the real deal and not another false alarm. He encouraged his team to pursue every avenue of research possible to crack the codes. Months of intense analysis followed to ensure that the signal was clean of anything that could connect it to natural or earthly sources. The team combed through large amounts of data, taking extra care to look out for patterns or correlations which may suggest an explanation. The team even considered that the signal was a product of some previously unknown physical phenomenon, maybe some kind of cosmic radiation. The breakthrough team still believes there could be a natural explanation for this mysterious radio message. They are determined to rule out all possible natural phenomena before cementing their belief that the signal is proof of extraterrestrial life. The last thing anyone would want is to raise hopes concerning this signal, only to have it dashed after finding that it was, in fact, another false alarm. 
Despite the uncertainty surrounding this strange radio message concerning its origin and purpose, BLC-1 remains one of the most intriguing signals detected by any space research program. What do you think about this strange signal reaching Earth from space? Do you believe that it is proof of advanced life forms trying to establish contact? Do you think that we should send a message back into deep space and hope for an answer? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.